This conference will now be recorded. Are we repeating my class this time or? Sorry. Uh, today you will be taking my class. Yes. Okay, actually, previously I think it was Chetan, so that's why I was asking. Oh, sorry, sorry, I heard wrong. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, so uh, it's in the last class we have done until the point. Chetan only is just that he did not mention his name, it's showing as Delhi. Oh, okay. okay. I joined through my company's laptop, uh, that is the reason. Okay, I'm sorry for that. I don't know. So today's the topic what we are taking up is the network topology. Okay. Yes, uh, Hitesh, can I know what is topology according to you? Basically, the setup of the complete network. Exactly. <clears throat> it's basically the plan what we make before setting up a network. Okay. Or it's also called as the blueprint of the network. And in topologies, there are two parts. One is the physical part and another one is the logical part. Okay. Uh, the combination of the physical part and the logical part is called as the network topology, where physical part deals with the hardware parts. That is for one network, what are the different hardware parts that are required are specified in the physical part of the topology. Whereas the, the logical part, uh, the details about the protocols or the softwares or basically what are the different things we use uh, as a software and as a protocols will be specified in the logical part of the topology. Okay. And there are some of the example for topologies. Let us see that we'll be reading now. And these topologies are very important for CCN Hidesh because once we enter the actual CCNA practical part, we will be implementing practicals or we will be implementing the lands on almost all these types of topologies. So learning these topologies are very, very important. Okay, let us move one by one. The first topology is called as the bus topology. Okay, what is this bus topology? In this topology, basically, all computers connect through a single continuous coaxial cable. Uh, Itesh, is my voice audible for you? Uh, yes, 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 then it's audible. Oh, well, okay, ma'am, it's audible, ma'am. I think there's network issue with you. Okay, so in bus topology, in this topology, all computers are connected through a single continuous coaxial cable. Okay, that is this cable is known as the backbone cable. Both ends of this backbone cable are terminated to terminators. That is, for example, from one wall. Okay, one side of the wall to the opposite side of the wall. One big cable along with the terminators are fixed and all the computers in the entire network. Okay, that is all the computers in an entire network will be connected to this cable. And this cable is called as the backbone cable. Okay, now when a computer transmits data in this topology, all computers sees that data over the wire, of course. For example, uh, you see in this figure, if I want to transfer the data from this PC A to PC C, okay, at that time, what I will do through the IP address, I will move my data like this. Okay, other than PC C, all the PCs such as PC B, PC E, and PC D, all these three PCs can also see that the data is traveling from A to C, whereas only C. PC or the only the destination PC will respond to the thing that is it will receive the data that is sent over the network basically okay. when a computer transmits the data in the topology all computers see that data over the wire but only that computer accepts the data to which it is addressed it is just like an announcement that is heard by all but answered by the person to whom the announcement is made. Okay, this basically it works like that. And coming to the advantages and disadvantages of this particular bus topology, 
advantages are it is very simple to install it uses less cable than other topologies of course because only one uh, backbone cable plays a major role in this bus topology and coming to it is relatively inexpensive okay it's like it's an economic type of topology but there are more than advantages in this type of topology there are more of disadvantages Hitesh. what are those disadvantages let us see now it is very difficult to troubleshoot of course troubleshooting is a big headache and it provides a slow data transfer speed why because there is only the data transfer has to be dependent on only one cable so data transfer is very much slow okay okay a single fault can bring the entire network down as there is only one cable if there is any problem in that cable means we have to bring down the entire network down because all the complete network will be dependent on this particular cable uh, are you clear with this bus topology hitesh any doubts no chief no okay because these things again in the bus topology we will be performing the ccna switching and routing labs so this is very important and in ccna examination what they give us they will give you the number of uh, systems and they will give you some of the criteria that is we are having one backbone cable with two terminators and which is the type of topology you design and you also want to design the things in among the four options or the five options they will give you different topologies the diagram of the topologies or the description of the topologies among that by seeing the criteria you need to choose which topology you need to build so for those implementation and all these informations are very very important please make a note of each and everything and i will also be sharing you these slides today okay coming to the next topology which is called as the star topology let us see what is this in this topology all computers connect to a centralized networking device yes which is centralized networking device basically it's a hub or a switch uh, yes uh, hitesh can you tell me what is the functioning functional difference between hub and a switch do you have any idea functional no no, just give a is like kind of uh, it just transmits everything whatever it's re receiving it will transmit to all exactly what about hub hub actually i have not uh, you i have not read about it okay let me give you one example because even this question will be asked and fear for, for me only they have asked this question it's my own experience basically if you are having some 10 mbps of data okay and if there are five systems and all the systems are connected to hub what hub will do means hub will equally divide the 10 mbps of data to all the five systems that is each system will receive 2 mbps of data okay as a bandwidth whereas if the same thing is sent through switch means switch will broadcast the complete data to each and every device so that all the devices until some wavelength will receive 10 mbps of data only as you said you said the you said perfectly basically switch transfers everything whatever it receives okay make sure that this is a difference between a hub and the switch hub will equally divide the data and transfer it to the devices whereas the switch will completely broadcast the data okay and in this topology all computers connect to a centralized networking device usually networking switch or a hub in earlier days as soon as the switch come into existence hub was completely vanished and today more in most of the companies you cannot find the hub okay each computer in the network uses its own separate twisted pair cable to connect to the switch okay uh, you you have seen the switch right it will be having multiple ports and computers will be connected through the twisted pair cables that is your ethernet cables let us see some of the advantages and disadvantages of star topology coming to the advantages it is very easy to install yes and relocate why it is easy to install because it is for example if i am a user it's very easy for me to connect a ethernet cable from my system to the switch and relocating of the computer is easier than other topologies of course there is only one wire that is connected for each computer since each computer uses its own separate cable 
a fault tall fault in the cable doesn't affect the computers of the network as bus topology here if there are any issues with the cable automatically the entire network doesn't want to get down only that particular switch if we oh, sorry only the particular interface of that computer if we take that it's more than enough okay and troubleshooting is relatively easy and it provides high data transfer speed yes and coming to some of the disadvantages it uses more cable than any other topologies yes because each and every system needs its separate cable hence it needs more cable compared to other topologies and if the centralized device fails if the centralized device fails it brings the entire network down yes okay if there is any failover in the switch the entire network will come down the total installation cost is higher than other topologies as you know the centralized device switch is switch costs bit high and it uses the twisted pair cable which is prone to break of course even i have experienced a lot of this most of the ethernet cable if someone um, keep their leg on the ethernet cable of course it will get break okay and damage is exceptional okay too many cables makes the network messy of course if there are more number of systems basically too many cables makes the network messy so clear with the star topology uh yes sir yes itesh and kindly you need to cooperate with me for another four to five days until we finish up the theory parts <laughs> i know it will be hard for a student to digest theory in online but it's a request for me please all these things are the prerequisites okay and coming to the next topology that is the ring topology let us see what is this ring topology in this topology all the computers connect in a circle where each computer directly connects two other computers in a network of course that is one from the left side and one from the right side for example you can see in the diagram each computer will be having two neighboring computers data moves down a one way path from one computer to another this is the major disadvantage of ring topology that the data what it will transfer through this will always move in the one way direction okay let us see some of the advantages and disadvantages advantages is it does not use terminators of course because it's a loop and it is relatively easy to troubleshoot of course since the data flow only in one direction there is no collision in the network of course these are the basic things and coming to the disadvantages it uses more cables it is too expensive and a single break in a cable can bring the entire network down you can see for example there is a cable between this right side computer and this bottom computer if this link fails no other computers can reach this particular bottom computer hence breakage in the cable can bring the entire network down of course and hitesh have you downloaded the cisco packet tracer in your laptop sorry which thing uh, it's a uh, it's a software called as please make a note of it cisco okay. packet tracer in that only we will be performing the practicals please make sure you will be downloading it for the next class uh, because theory will be a bit boring what we can do is some half an hour let's do with the practical and next half an hour we can do with the theory stuffs okay okay so it's cisco packet tracer and you need to download the community or the student edition basically okay and the version any version above 6.0 is fine for me okay please make a note of these things okay Okay. Now coming to the next type of topology, it is called the uh, mesh topology. Okay, let us see what is the mesh topology. In this topology, multiple paths exist between end devices. Of course, based on paths, a mesh topology can be divided into two types: that is fully meshed and partially meshed. If a direct path exists from each and every devices to all other devices in the network. it's a fully mesh topology you can see that in the right side fully meshed diagram there are basically four routers where for example the router 0 is having a direct wire connection 
to all the other three routers okay hence if one device if all the devices are connected to all the other devices of the network through a cable directly then such type of topology is called as the fully mesh topology or we can call those other uh, if there are no links for each and every computer in a network then such topology is called as the partially meshed topology and coming to the last part it's an hybrid topology uh, just a small question there this uh, how can i differentiate uh, partially meshed means it's a kind of ring topology only this is it's one of the example that's it uh, for example you can have a direct connection from router 3 to router 1 but there should be no connection between router 0 to router 2 even that will be the partially meshed topology okay no that i understand but for this one uh, example which uh, it is showing means uh, is it an example of a ring or me, uh, this mesh? No, no, no. There is one small difference between ring and mesh. The data transfer is in different uh, look. Uh... No, 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 Hitesh. In ring topology, data can only transfer in one way direction. Okay. Yes. As in mesh topology, data can transfer in multi way direction. That okay. is the major difference. And what is this required connection is? Ah, required connection that's simple man that is for example if n number of devices are there in your computer n into n minus 1 by 2 if you give that if you calculate that you can calculate the number of wires in the system this is the basic thing for example okay. if you have four systems uh, you can see over here 4 into 4 minus 1 by 2 okay that is 4 into 4 minus 1 is 4 into 3 that is 12 12 by 2 is 6 you can see that six cables are used here. Okay. Yes. This is this only applies good for the fully mesh topology and not for the partially mesh topology. Okay. Okay. Super. So now there is the last type of topology. What we are seeing here, this topology is a mixture of two or more topologies. That is the hybrid topology. As the name suggests, it's a hybrid. Where if in a network, if there are, it's there a combination of two or more topologies, such topology is called as the hybrid topology. Where, for example, there are two networks. One is built from the star topology, and another one is built from the bus topology. If we connect both the networks to build a single large network, the topology of the new network will be known as the hybrid topology. Is it clear for you, Hitesh? Uh, yes, actually, and what the example is showing is of which thing? It's an example of star topology and? It's an example of star topology and a bus topology. Okay, this is a wireless network, bus topology means. You can see, okay. this, this is the wireless network. Yes, okay. so Directly wireless network is a bus topology. Yes, 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 it's not like a bus topology. But it's a, it is having the common access point, right? That is the router. Hence, they just consider it as a bus topology. That's it. Uh, but it can be considered as a, again a star topology only if it is having a this uh, router or anything. Or... Basically, we will not connect like this as in wireless. Okay. So even okay. we will not call it as bus topology as there is a common access point. We will just term it like that. Otherwise, there is no description of topologies for the wireless network. It's only the bandwidth and the frequency what we suggest for the wireless networks. Okay. okay. Now, coming to the next part. Essential components of the computer network. Okay. When learning computer networking, we should be your first topic, of course. A computer is built from four essential components. Please make a note of the components. It is end devices and the media and the protocol and the networking devices. These are the four essential components to build a network. Please make a note of this. Okay. Now, let us go in the detail for each of the one. The first uh, essential component what we are taking is the end devices, Sitesh. 
an end device is a device that sends or receives the data or service in the network okay now uh, you can send data or services from which end devices that is computer laptop mobile and even your barcode scanner and ip security camera all these things will come under the end devices okay and an end device might be a pc laptop smartphone or any other device that is capable of sending and receiving the data and connected with the network of course to build a network at least two end devices are required as this is a common sense basically one is the sender and another one is the receiver broadly end devices are categorized into two types that is the server end devices and the client end devices again this is also a basic stuff where server end devices is the device which provides the data or service whereas the client end device is the device which receives the offer data or service from the server end devices yeah coming to the next essential component that is the media the media provides connectivity between the end devices of course if the source and the destination has to travel means the data from source has to travel to the data to the destination means there should be a media in between through which the data transfers unless end devices are connected through the any kind of media they cannot exchange the data or service mainly there are two types of media that is wireless media and the wired media in wireless media radio signals are used to transfer the data between the end devices that is radio waves in how does the for example we will be using our wifi right from mobile phone how can we use the data it's nothing but we will be using the data through the radio waves okay whereas in the wired media data is transferred through the cables you can see the small distribution table over here that is wired media there will be three types of ethernet cables that is the coaxial cables twisted pairs and the latest technology is fiber optics or the optical fiber and coming to the wired wireless network there are different frequencies of basically the data where you can transfer the data through radio waves okay clear uh, yes coming to the next that is the third essential component protocols enables that is protocols this is the third essential components let us see about details about it protocols enable a communication between two or more end devices of course a protocol is nothing but a set of rules or set of predefined rules that specifies standards for a particular stage or all stages of the communication basically if the data has to travel from source to destination means it should be having some rules or some protocols only following those rules or the protocols that data will transfer from the source to the destination now there are some of the common functions that are performed by the protocols let us see what are those functions initializing and terminating the communication process of course initialize any uh, communication process if you take an example means uh, for example um, you will search something in the google right okay at that time http protocol comes into act okay again the same http protocol will terminate the process by responding you with the requirement whatever you have searched in the google and performing encryption and compression before sending the data of course if you want to compress the data uh, before sending it means again there will be a protocol for compression if you want to perform the encryption for sending before sending the data means even for that can you give me any encryption examples hitesh as you are from the security background uh, whatsapp is using uh, encryption and to end encryptions yes 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 exactly and any encryption technology for example secure socket transport layer security these are the different encryptions right yeah just like that some of the encryption will be performed. Uh, can you please repeat your statement once yeah uh, for example in the transport layer transport yeah. layer means the data has to move from the uh, sender to the receiver right yes so if, for example if I, you are in delhi i am in bangalore the data has to reach from bangalore to delhi at that time in between 
in the media transfer there is there comes a uh, some protocol called as transport layer security that is the tls protocol and that is the encryption protocol which we use while transferring the data i mean that is one of the example okay yeah just like that i gave an example for you and just like that even secured socket layer even that is one of the encryption protocol while data is traveling okay clear hitesh ah uh, yes yes packing data in such format that is it can travel in the network of course providing logical addressing of course logical address has to be provided and performing error connection if there are any connection error connection in the data traversing even that has to be made correct through the protocols and performing authentication of course for example if some data comes from the foreign bodies always there will be some security protocols which will check whether the data is genuine and is that data from the uh, what we can call it as a genuine sender or the sender belonging to our neighboring network like that basically it authenticates the data okay coming to the next protocol it's called uh, sorry uh, coming to the next essential component and the last one is networking devices let us see what are the different networking devices a networking device works between the end devices of course these are the devices that works between two different end devices that is the sender and the receiver it controls and forwards the flow of data based on the functionalities a networking device can be categorized into three types that is forwarding device connecting device and the securing device let us see what are those things one by one a forwarding device forwards the data this device usually has multiple ports which are used to connect more than two end devices in a single network hub bridge and ethernet switch provides this functionality yes from now on whenever we use the term forwarding device you should always think of the switch okay coming to the connecting device connecting device connects two or more different types of media and protocols if two end devices are located in different network or connected through different types of media they need a connecting device to exchange the data and for example of these connecting devices are the router and the multi layer switch of course basically the router and ccna and the securing device secures the data from unauthorized access when data packets arrives to it based on the predefined rules it performs security checks and takes the forwarding decision of course so the security check has to be made for this the devices what we use is basically firewall in the server or the client part and the nat in the network level that is in the router part in which on nat you will be having a lab at last of this particular course so are you clear until this hitesh until the networking yes. device yes Yes, right now can you do me a favor can you quickly download the cisco packet tracer okay actually i think i'll have to install the vmware first and then i'll install this uh, cisco packet tracer or you want me to install in the pc itself no in pc itself it's a small software in pc itself okay, or you can just share me your screen okay i'll be stopping my share so that i'll guide you for installation Anirmal, ma'am, please give the screen share access to Hitesh. Anirmal, ma'am, can can you please give the screen share access to Hitesh? Thank you. 
Yes, Hitesh, you are given the screen sharing option. Please share me the screen. Yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Once you're able to view the screen, just let me know. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, see the see your screen. Uh, shall I download this one by uh, this version? Yes, uh, yes, yes. Anything? Yeah. Anything about six years? Yeah, okay, Tish, uh, you can stop your screen share. By the time I will demonstrate you the lab, by the time it gets downloaded, okay? Yeah. Uh, Nirmala, ma'am, once again, I'm troubling you. Kindly give me access for sharing my screen. Nirmala, ma'am, can you hear me? Or at least make me the organizer. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, can you see my screen, Hitesh? Basically, this is the Cisco packet tracer. You can see, right? Hitesh, kindly respond me. Hitesh, are you there? Uh, yes, Chetan, I'm able to hear you. Are you not able to hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Actually, I'm checking the download. It's uh, the, uh, downloaded around 50%. Yeah, let's get downloaded. By the time I will demonstrate for you, later you can demonstrate. Okay. Now, let us see our first CCNA lab. Uh, let us do the lab and the theoretical stuff uh, simultaneously so that we will not get bored. Now let us see how to build a LAN, okay, in the Cisco packet tracer. Okay, Hitesh. So okay. let me tell you one thing. You can see the devices over here, right? This round device will always refer to the router. And once you click on this round device, you can get the multiple routers that are present in the current industrial standards. Okay, these are the different real-time routers in now which are in use. But in this CCNA course, always you need to select the standardized router called as 2811. Make a note of it. In this entire course, you will be using the router 2811. 2811. Okay. Okay, next. Coming to the second device, that is the switches. In this, these are the different types of switch. Uh, there are multiple type of switch with 32 and 24 ports. Okay, and for our lab purpose, always you choose the switch 2960. Make a note of it. That is again the standard switch, which is 
use in the industry. Okay. Okay. Two nine six zero. Of course, see you can see it is having twenty four TT. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Coming to the next device, hubs we will not be using it, and wireless device as per now. At this part of the course, we will not be using the wireless devices also, and there are end devices here. If you click on this, you can get the different end devices that we can use in the company. There is computer, laptop, server, printer, IP phone, voice IP phone, normal phone, TV, wireless tab, and smart devices. You can get all the things over here in the end device. Uh, for now, I will be taking. Two end devices. That is one computer and one laptop. Okay, and here you have a connections part. This wire symbol is there. Right click on that. You can get the different wires that are used to connect between the devices. And there is a condition uh, here, uh, Hitesh. You can see the this cable, right? The third cable, the black one. This yeah. cable is called as the copper stripe cable. Or generally, basically, we call it a stripe cable. This is the cable we use to connect the dissimilar, uh, what we call it as connections. Okay, dissimilar connections means that is, for example, from PC to switch, switch to router, like this. Okay, the devices should not be same. The connecting devices should not be same. One is the fan devices, means one is layer two device. For example, uh, if there is two switch, okay, if I want to connect these two switches, that is switches are same devices, right? To connect the similar devices, we will be using this fourth cable called as the copper crossover cable. Okay, to connect the dissimilar devices, we will be using the straight cable. Make a note of it. For connecting similar devices, we will be using the cross cable. For connect the dissimilar devices, we will be using the straight cable. Okay. This okay. Now, I'll remove this switch for your demonstration. I showed it. Now let us connect this PC to the switch. I have taken this straight cable. Click on this PC. You will get two ports. That is RS232 and Ethernet zero. As these are the Ethernet cables, you need to select the Ethernet and you need to drag it. And if you click on the switch, you will get all the 24 ports that are available. You can click to the any of the port. I'm clicking to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. That is the first port. And you can see here there is a green light and here there is an amber color light, right? That is such as brown color. Why? Because switch takes 30 seconds to start up automatically you can view this light after 30 seconds automatically it will turn into green color let me connect one more uh, pc that is my laptop to the switch that is f0 slash 2. okay i have can see this has turned into green color now and uh, within the next 30 seconds even this amber light will be turned into green once the green light comes it is ready for use Okay, so now how to check these PCs? Whether these PC, for example, now this PC0 is connected to laptop 0 through the centralized connection called as the switch. Hence, this is the start topology what we have connected here. Right? Yes. You're getting this right? Yes. So if we want to connect okay. these two systems, we need to uh, assign an ip address let us see how to assign an ip address to the pc click on the pc you will get this in this choose, choose the third option in the top layer that is the desktop in desktop you will be having the first configuration called as the ip configuration in this ip configuration type any random ip address as per now within the same network that is 192.168.1.1 Okay, and I'll press the tab button automatically. It will take the subnet mask. Just close this. Again, go for the laptop and repeat the same process. That is 192.168.1.2. That is 1.1 and this is 1.2. 
and close this. Now both the PCs are assigned with an IP address. Now what we want to do is we need to check whether this PC is communicating with this PC or not. For that we need to check for a protocol called as the ping. Okay, which is nothing but uses the ICMP protocol. Uh, so I'll be moving to the PC and you can go for the command prompt over here and type the ping and the IP address of the destination PC that is 192.168.2. See it's pinging right? Yes. Yeah. This we can confirm that our lab is successful. This is just a demonstration lab for you. So let me try for some other PC now. Ping. I'll just try for 1.3 which we don't have. See, it won't ping. As 1.2 is directly connected, it will be ping. So clear until this? Uh, yes, Shetan. So uh, how did you put command prompt, uh, command prompt in this PC? Okay, see, you need to go for PC. It will be like this. Go for the desktop. In desktop, the fourth option is the command prompt. Okay. Okay, you'll be having different options. All these things as the course goes, we will be learning. Okay, as we have more than enough. Now, uh, Hitesh, what I want you to do is, I want you to share your screen and connect four computers to the switch. And you, I want you to make the, that is, things should happen within all four days. Okay? Okay. Yes, I'll be stopping my screen share. Uh, Nirmala, once again, I'm troubling you. Kindly give the screen share access to Hitesh. I want to see Hitesh doing practicals. Yeah, thank you so much, ma'am. Yes, Hitesh. Hey, can you share it online and confirm if that is the one you just let me know. If this should, it has downloaded, right? Uh, Chitin, is my screen visible? Uh, yes, it's visible. You can talk now. Thank you. 
it is asking for sign in uh, it won't ask have you joined through student edition i didn't select anything uh, yes you can perform it right just open it open it through the local location no, just it... one second if you go back to research Open it. It's not. Mention anywhere. It's whether it's a student edition or what. It's la. Uh, just uh, close this. You yeah, close this. If I close this, then it is also closing. Login failed. Okay, okay, okay. Just uh, sign in, sign in. It's okay. Sign up. I think this is a new update. Uh, I am using 6.8 version. In that, they will not ask for any sign in. There's a different student version and the normal version. Sign up. It's okay. But I don't have a user ID. It's not asking for sign up. It's asking for sign in. Oh, it's not asking for sign up. It's asking uh, sign in. Okay, Email okay. or user. Then, then you want to do one thing. By tomorrow, what you do is you delete this, okay, and just yeah. download something somewhere around 6.5 to 6.8 version. Okay. Wait one second. I'll put it in download right away. Okay. Yeah. That way. And just type it as Cisco Packet Tracer Student because it's a paid software. But for students, for learning purpose, they have given it for free. Cisco Packet Tracer Student version download. Yeah, download. That's it. Yeah, six point two is the only I think it's free. It's fine. You can download it. Six point two is only the student version available. Oh, okay, okay. You can download that only. It's not coming. The option is not coming anywhere. See, you can click there. Download Cisco packet. You you are having an option there. Yes, download. Is it downloading? Yeah, it's downloaded. You can open that.
Because the effective date of its certificates are invalid, or the certificate is blacklisted. Yeah, just close it. Just close it. It's not key. Yeah. 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 You can perform the things now. You can take the things. Uh, I'll be taking three PCs and one laptop because it is showing uh, no PCs. Okay, showing one more PC is available. Yes, yes. Take me. Uh, how can I delete one thing? Uh, there is X option in the right side uh, corner. Right side top. Red color X. No, no, no. I just want to delete a... Yes, 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 right side, right side. Right okay. side. Yes. Okay, okay, understood. Now you need to press escape button once to make it normal. Yeah. Yes. Then, then check for the ping. Super, it's pinging. Okay, this was just a demonstration of the basic lab for you, Hitesh. Okay.
and uh, from next class maybe we why we might have one more student who might join to our batch okay so okay. i hope uh, the points whatever we have covered today it's clear for you right yeah yes i'll be sharing the slides with nirmala ma'am she'll be sharing you you may get the slides and make sure you will be practicing different topologies in this packet tracer and in tomorrow's class we will be moving to the major part that is the osi model okay and it's very important okay okay thank you vitesh thank you okay so we'll be ending the class now itself ah uh, yes 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 we'll be ending it now okay yeah okay Thank you.